how we collect, store and share geospatial data is an ongoing global concern as environmental issues, changing technology and natural disasters continue, so does the need to connect and share this knowledge across multiple countries and world leaders. That's where the Open Geospatial Consortium, or more commonly referred to as the OGC, come in. A global organization of uh, public private sector organizations, uh, industry, academia, research organizations, working together to try to solve a tough problem, a problem of interoperability. It's a big word, but what it really means in our context is being able to bring together different types of location information from different providers and have that information work fluidly with different uh, IT tools. The international group with over 500 members meet regularly to discuss and set geospatial standards for hundreds of thousands of organisations worldwide to adhere to and collaborate at all levels. Being able to share this data is essential in the operation of society, not only for the economy, but for responding to emergencies, solving problems and future planning. So if you're using a, a mobile map, or if you're trying to analyze a problem, or if you're trying to visualize a, a future about a smart city uh, or about the environment, being able to bring all of that data together quickly, seamlessly, uh, without a lot of interruption, and the producer result is our, our goal. It's a global world. I mean, there is no boundary for any kind of nature disaster or even for weather or climate change uh, issue. There is no boundary. so. Uh, we have to learn from each other. A number of New Zealand organisations are members of the OGC, each playing a significant part in helping share our data to the world. Manaki Whenua Landcare Research is one of these organisations. We recently hosted the OGC's technical meeting in New Zealand for the first time. I think we have about 20 countries represented. Uh, and about 80 people were here for the whole week and they're basically in technical meetings so they're going into rooms and working on the standards development and reviewing them and learning about how people have tried to apply them and the problems they've run into. Over the three days around 200 people attended the meeting. We talked to a few of these international experts about how the OGC standards affect their industry starting with an application used by billions of people every day. For Google, you know, we're interested in the technology challenge. You know, we're interested in big data sets, looking at that big data, trying to pull out the pieces of information that are relevant to people, and then make that available to them. Uh, and for us, you know, the focus is on everybody out there. You know, the, the billions of people that live on the planet. And if we can, you know, influence their day-to-day -day lives and change the way they act to benefit the environment, we will do. Sharing and collecting data is also important for gaining a better understanding of environment and ecological processes. Collecting data for ecology and biodiversity is particularly complicated for things that move, but there's hope that with further collaboration, more biodiversity and ecology studies like this example of bear monitoring can be shared. Uh, so they put up these hair catchers over these overpasses, so basically they'd catch a bit of hair from every bear that went through, and then they would analyze the DNA of that hair sample, and they could identify individuals and actually look at what individual bears were doing, uh, who went across, who went back, uh, and not only that, but look at how different bears were related to each other uh, genetically, and say, okay, of the bears who crossed versus the bears that didn't, you know, what difference did that make in their being able to exchange populations? So that sort of richness of spatial temporal data uh, that's, you know, very precise and has multiple ways of being used, that's exactly what, you know, we would love to facilitate the sharing of. When events like earthquakes occur, the need to collaborate internationally to share and access data is crucial. You cannot uh, stop this kind of nature disaster, it's impossible. But at least we can learn how to share the information as quickly as we can. There are lots of like international organizations, they work very hard in sharing, uh, not only for alerting or warning, but also 
uh, in the rescuing process, how to share the satellite image, how to share the UAV information. Th these are all the things we try to learn about. And as for water quality information, great progress is being made. New Zealand is the first in the world to use the OGC standards to bring together data so people can easily decide where it's safe to swim. What's available now is a wonderful application that says, can I swim here? And it says, at the places where water is measured, you can get a coloured dot that says, oh, yeah, you can swim here, or no, not a good idea. It's been quite exciting because we've been able to see the, I guess, the benefit of exposing our data uh, in a useful way across all the agencies. Um, and it means that we can develop tools and share those tools. And when it comes to soil, the complexity of different soils means the systems to harmonise soil data across regions are also complex. But teams are making positive steps to bring this information together. So whilst we're looking at the same stuff, the soil, and measuring the same sorts of things, we're often doing it differently or ending up with different data. So bringing all that together and harmonising it, that's, that's a major sort of issue for us. Um, once we've got that, the systems that we need are quite complex to bring that stuff together. So, so that's where the standards world kicks in. We harmonise that data and we allow it to be easily um, accessed and used between different applications. Overall, the standards set by the OGC provide ongoing opportunity to work together, build better systems and help decision making for future events in space and time by drawing on multiple sources of data, bringing worldwide collaboration into the world of data sharing so we can all benefit on a local, national and global scale.